Hi y'all, I'm Allison. The Magical Readathon, of course, is in full session. In fact, we are on the second weekend. That's right, today is Saturday the 14th. And as I mentioned, apparently something happened Friday night, Saturday morning, I don't know when it was, but I got a message from Nis no, I got a message from Lindley about Nisilla. So apparently that little vortex of light, you know, showed up again and Nisilla wasn't going to fall for it this time. She had no intention of going through it, but Fenris had his own agenda in mind and he bolted through it and just took off running and she had no choice but to follow him, which means I have to go as well. So what I thought was going to be a relaxing weekend of kind of cleaning up my house, editing videos. All of that has gone out the window now because apparently I think I might be going back in time and attending classes today, which will help because there's only one more week before exam starts and I am so behind. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to recoup one more day, but I have no idea which class schedule I'm going to be following. So of course we need to pull out the cards, get the rocks and find out which one we're going to go to this time or when we're going to go to. Okay, if you look at the calendar, we're still going to go with the days that we had last time that the Vortex showed up. You know, it, it doesn't tend to reset itself, although it did remove the day that Nasilla has already visited because it won't link to the same day twice. So let's shuffle these up, put them in a little bit of a random order and put them on the shelf. So I took the number eight out of here because we only have seven days on the shelf this time. So let's find out when we're going, which will dictate which books I read today. And we get number two, which is, oh, I forgot to mention the Skippo is 13 because the deck only goes up to 12. So we are repeating yesterday. That's pretty wild. The first time we did this, we did Thursday and now we're going to repeat yesterday. I'm not upset by that, although it, it might be, it might get a little tricky because we have a little glitch. It's already 1130 in the morning. Now, since, you know, she went through a vortex of time, she's not necessarily going to land at 1130. So she could have gone back in time to accommodate these first two classes. She could have landed in restoration, which means it could have been as early as nine o'clock in the morning. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a number one to three to find out where her day started, what classroom she was able to run to and get back into. I, I hope that makes sense because I didn't want to forfeit the morning classes because I am so behind on everything that I, I need all the help I can get. So there's a chance of getting these. We're going to leave it up to chance. So I need a number one. Okay, so I got one, two, and three, which will obviously be one is restoration, two is inkling summoning, and three is animal studies. So if I get a three, that means I miss the morning classes. If I get a one, I get to go to all of them, and we'll just worry about time later. Okay, uh, I'm a little nervous because I could potentially be trying to shove all of the morning classes into this afternoon. Are you ready? I'm going to take this one. Oh, oh, yeah. Yay or ooh, I don't, I, I, I don't know. Because like I said, it is now 1130 and I am starting with the restoration. So Nasilla landed back on Friday morning, yesterday morning, and she got there at least before 10 o'clock because she has time to go to both of her classes. So the good thing is the afternoon I only have one class. So that means all three of these are now going to fall within the 12 to 6 time timeline. That's how it's going to play out. So if I can't attend all of these by 6 o'clock, then I have to forfeit some time. I, I think that's a fair way of doing it. So I don't have time to chit chat. I have to run off to what class? I don't even know. What, what's restoration? Oh, and, you know, of course, after the little card flow, then I forgot all about that. So the 
the card fell down for um, the calendar sheet. And yeah, I did this better last time. Y'all, y'all, y'all forgive me, right? It's a little chaotic. We, we still get a fake card. Because, you know, there was one that just smacked her in the face as soon as she realized when she was. You know, she picked up that little piece of paper off the ground, the little calendar sheet, and realized it was Friday the 13th again. <gasps> what are we doing Friday the 13th? And it was supposed to be smooth sailing. This is the universe making sure that that doesn't happen. It was just a practice round yesterday. Okay, let's see what the real fate is going to be. Lab accident in alchemy lab. Today's class is canceled while Remus de decontaminated. So, I gotta find out which class is canceled. I don't like that, but that fits with Friday the 13th better, doesn't it? There are five classes on the day, as you can see. So, I'm gonna put one through five in here. I think the first one is supposed to be Harry Potter. I don't want to lose that. Okay, so one through five is here. Let's see what class is canceled. We'll go with this one. Five. So I missed my last class. <gasps> Ambling summoning. I can't go to Patriot Games. But, okay, okay. That, that's all there is to it. So that last class is canceled. Apparently something's going to happen later on in the day. Maybe a demon gets loose in the demonology lab. All right, well, I'm going to rush off to Restoration, which I believe is Harry Potter. And it is. So I will be back with y'all when I'm done with that. Bye. I finished Restoration. I love this class. The illustrations in here, I, I really can't get enough of them. It's the perfect way to start a day. And there was one, look. It's the little bumbling knight and the pony <laughs> that they had to chase to find the divination class. So they just defeated the Bogart. Snape was wearing the vulture hat and such a good time. Anyway, I'm like on page 106. So I'm making some progress, which is good because I do have two classes for two classes for this book, two books for this class. So it's a little bit after one o'clock and we are still doing Friday morning classes, so we'll see if I can manage to pull off all of the afternoon classes. I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Next up is Impling Summoning, right? Right. That means Patriot Games. So even though there's going to be an explosion later in the day, I still get to attend this class at least once. So I get a full hour with it. I'm going to run off to that, go work on Summoning and Impling, and I will see y'all on the flip side. I just got out of class. I finished Impling a Summoning. It's going really well. There's a chance that we might actually pull this off, but I don't know because there's like 560 pages in this book and I am on page 182. I started at page 140. So I'm only reading about 40 pages or so an hour because it's so detailed and I, I love it, love it. It's high tech for 87 and you get the military aspect of it. And although there's not been too much military at this point, it's more a police investigation because we've got the terrorism going on, a terrorist attack. And it's so weird going straight to that from Hogwarts. <laughs> so, you know, they're battling the Bogart over at Hogwarts and everything and you've got Snape wearing the vulture hat and whatnot to the IRA over in England and now they're back in uh, Baltimore, I believe, Annapolis. That's where they live, Maryland. And it's Christmas morning. So everything's about to, uh, things are about to go topsy-turvy in this and I had to put it down. I hated that stupid bell. I wanted to stay. And Thanks to the alchemy explosion that's going to happen later today. I don't get to go back to it tonight, which I really need that hour and I really want to read more. But alas, it will be waiting for me. In the meantime, 
I have another afternoon class to get to. I think I should be able to pull this off, even though we're trying to get all the morning and afternoon classes in that little six hour block. I just have to make sure that I take a little break at some point. I, I'm getting a little hungry. I've had a lot of caffeine, can you tell? Okay, so animal studies. I, I don't even, let me find that book. I don't know what I need. Oh, it's King of Scars. Talk about another jump. I really enjoyed this yesterday, so it'll be cool to get right back into it while it's still fresh in my mind, considering how long it's been since I've visited the Grishaverse. So I get an hour and a half with this one. That'll be good. And then I'll have a break until my night class starts. So I'm going to run off to class, take advantage of the momentum I've got going while my brain is focused and everything seems to be quiet and calm. So we'll, we'll see if I can get another hour and a half out of the universe today to attend this class. Okay, I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, as you probably guessed, it's not Friday night. It's not late at night or anything like that. In fact, we fast forwarded all the way to Monday, but I'm going to piece back together Friday for you. Let you know how my day finished out. It was pretty smooth sailing, which I really needed. I did go to elemental studies for an hour and a half, made some a pretty good progress on this one. Still enjoying it. And I would be very happy with my progress if this class didn't have two other books that I haven't even touched, but you know what? Or we're just going to take it a day at a time and not worry about the big picture at this point. So there was the first part of my evening for Friday. And then I had the class that I was most looking forward to. And that is the Ambling Summoning Patriot game. I am loving this. So what I ended up doing, I have to look at my cheat sheet. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wait, I'm not giving y'all Friday night. I'm giving you Saturday night. I don't even know because Saturday I repeated Friday because I recouped that day. So whatever I said about this, this was on Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, I knew things felt a little off. I would have read my bookmark. But yeah, there is this Saturday 15th. Okay, so Saturday night I read this. And then I also, I, I, I skipped this Saturday night. It was getting late. I was tired and I didn't want to go into this brain dead. So what I did was, you remember at the very beginning, I said I was going to allow myself two weekends over the, two hours over the weekend for study hall time. So I brought that rule back in and I actually read this for, I think two hours on Sunday since I skipped Saturday night's class. Yes, I did. I read two hours Sunday afternoon and I don't think that, that's not cheating. I, I missed Friday night's class. I had 50 million classes I could have chosen from for that study hall time, but this is what I chose. Even though it probably wasn't the most strategic way to go, I figured it was the last class I skipped and I really want to read it. So I am making progress. I don't think it's enough though, because again, there's a whole other book after this one. Okay, so that brought you through the end of the week. We're, we're making progress. I don't know if it'll be enough to be ready for those exams, but time will tell. All right. I got to go because it is a Monday morning and I have morning classes to attend to and I have to take my mom to get her hair washed and it's another crazy busy day. So I will see you hopefully in the next video. Bye.